output by the way from solar cells is DC, direct current. And then in order to really apply it or convert it into AC, there are certain uh, electrical equipment technology, I'm sure all of you electrical engineers know, they're called inverters. The inverters, what they do, they take the DC, they kind of chop it up, they form it, they transform it into a sinusoidal phase form, then they combine and make it either a single uh, sinusoidal or a single phase sinusoidal or three phase sinusoidal system. Now, uh, as uh, I mentioned briefly, there are many other types of technologies nowadays that are uh, coming out of the woodwork. Uh, some of them uh, are fairly exotic, they're experimental, uh, but uh, some of them are finding uh, inroads into the market. Uh, this is a typical of a uh, well, dye synthesized technology uh, that does not use silica, it uses uh, uh, titanium oxide and some dyes and so forth that really takes the photons and kind of uh, um, charge it, the transfers charge from anode to cathode. I'm not going to go into the details of it. If you will have an opportunity, I'll uh, be more than glad to go into extreme details. Uh, <coughs> the latest advances in the past decade or so have been uh, really multiple, multiple construction of PN junctions. When you take a PN junction, you have to, uh, let, let me step back a little. When you're receiving the solar rays, solar rays, they have a, a very large spectrum from 10 to the minus 15 to 10 to the 19. So you really have a tremendous variation of uh, radiation spectrum in a photon. Now, uh, what we see uh, essentially as a solar ray, it really falls within our visual uh, spectrum. The visual spectrum of solar rays uh, that solar power systems use, they range from red uh, to violet, and because outside the two regions, either the energy is too low or the energy becomes very high, solar power modules cannot capture. Conventional solar power modules usually capture a very narrow spectrum of solar rays. So, uh, in order to really maximize the, uh, the power uh, output generation, in lieu of having one single type of uh, junction, there's a multi multiplicity of junctions that are put together, but Wahan will talk about it. And there are other types of, these are Wahan systems essentially that he will talk about. If you don't have, I'll leave this one for you to talk uh, on. So I've written a lot about Wahan system in my latest book, which was uh, finished, uh, in fact, last week. And this is an inverter. So these are some of the uh, systems that I've designed in the past. Uh, uh, I'm, as uh, Alec mentioned, I have been working on fairly large scale solar power systems and I've done a lot of uh, 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 both research on the Gulf Lab, also invented a number of circuits and so forth in the arena. Uh, I think the time is up, I'm getting a signal. I apologize for rushing through. It takes me usually five minutes to settle down mm -hmm. and then hopefully in the future, if you would be interested, I'd be more than glad to give you a fairly detailed presentation. Thank you so much. Just give me a second so we can uh, go to the next one. Uh